Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm unboxing the Glossy Box March Edition Beauty Box and this is what it looks like this month. It's just the classy Glossy Box box and inside we get the leaflet which tells us all about the products and this month's theme is All Eyes On Me. So we have products inside for eyes, lips and cheeks. And then the sneak peek for April's box is the Avent Gentle Rose Face Exfoliant which is that product right there and that will smooth, soothe and soften the skin and it's worth £92. So we've got a bunch of makeup products in this month's box which I'm really happy about and the first thing is this here from Seattle, London. This is their Stamp and Drag eyeliner I believe. Yeah so this looks really interesting. I love eyeliner pens, I'm always using them. So this one I haven't tried before. I don't think I've tried a Seattle London um, eyeliner before. That's what the eyeliner pen looks like right there. A black glossy packaging and then it's double ended. So, oh cool, like one side um, is the standard chubby tip like so and then the other side is like a, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a wing stamp. I'm not sure if you can see that at all there guys. Obviously you place this at the end of your eye there and stamp it to get that wing shape and then you use the other side to like draw the rest of the liner. Oh like that sounds so good. Like I wish I used that the day for my eyeliner. Um, this will be really good for anyone who struggles I think with um, getting that perfect wing or struggles with eyeliner really. Like I think that's a really good kind of guide there. I haven't ever used like a stamp liner before. I know there's a bunch of ones out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to give this one a go from Seattle London. And this here is a full size obviously which is worth £15. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this. The next thing we get inside is this mascara here from Ico. This is their Black Magic Mascara for Drama and Cuddle. And the funny thing is, I'm actually using this mascara just now. Like, I tested it out the other day there in a video, which you will see pretty soon. And it's actually a nice mascara. Like, it takes a while to, like, figure out if I like a mascara or not. Because um, some mascaras, there's different ways to sort of, like, use different techniques to, like, apply mascara to get, like, the best out of it. If it's for cuddle, volume, or length sort of thing. So it has a really kind of curved um, wand on it. Um, kind of like that's it right there if you can see it on the box um, I don't want to open it just now because obviously I'm using the full size just now so I'll keep this for another time it's a nice jet black mascara and it's also water resistant which is great but one thing with water resistant mascaras like waterproof mascaras they're a hell of a messy sometimes to like remove from your eyes like they go into like little clumps when you're removing it and it just takes a long time to remove off your eyes so that's one thing I don't really love about kind of water resistant or waterproof mascaras is they're kind of hard to get off um, but obviously that's the whole point in them so that you can go into, so you can go into water and things like that with them and this is a deluxe mini which is worth £10 the full size is £19 okay the next thing we get is this eye cream from Seba Med it's the Q10 lifting eye cream and it says that this is newly launched and it's proven to reduce wrinkles. This seems to be the month of eye creams, well actually the past few months really, um, all the beauty boxes seem to be including some sort of eye cream and this one here is quite a new one I believe. It's got Q10 in it which is a natural antioxidant that protects the skin from free radical damage. It also helps to maintain the skin's elasticity and increase the production of new skin cells. So looking forward to giving this one a go. Um, this one is a full size I believe which is worth £7.29. Okay the next thing inside the box is this highlighting palette here from Sleek. This is their Soltist highlighting palette. So you either get this one or you'll get the copper plate palette and I actually have both of these palettes already. That's what the palette looks like right there. A nice gold mirrored packaging. The copper plate one is also like gold as well. It's a little bit more coppery though obviously for the name. Um, but yeah it has like a goldy look as well and that's what this one, hang on, that's what this one looks like inside there. One thing about sleek highlighting palettes is that they come with cream and 
powder finishes and this one has three powders and one cream in it there and this one is a really nice palette for like the lighter complexions and um, the copper the copper plate one is a bit better for I would say medium to dark skin like if you're a bit more tan then that palette is really nice because it has a lot more kind of gold and the kind of coppery shades in it that look, that look really good on tan skin um, but this one is a little bit better for the kind of fairer, lighter um, complexions. So yeah, it's a really nice palette. Like the shades are absolutely gorgeous in it there. I'm not going to swatch this one right now because I have, you know, the same one already. And um, this is a full size product which is worth £10. So whether you get this one or you get the copper plate one, you will like them I think because you can actually use them on your eyes as well. So yeah really nice um, highlighting palette there and then the next thing we get inside I'm really 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 looking forward to using is this here from M, M. Cole Beauty it's a lipstick and I had I've tried something from this brand before I think it was an eyeliner or something like that um, but I haven't tried a lipstick I don't think um, and that's what it looks like right there so it's like a matte packaging and that's the shade and it looks amazing pinky nudes is what i'm all about so i'm gonna give it a swatch here oh looks perfect that looks so so nice just remove my lipstick just now because i want to try this out and looks like it has a creamy finish which is my absolute favorite for a lipstick So that's the shade on and it's actually a bit brighter on the lips than it looks in the stick really. Um, like it's a little bit brighter on but it's really nice. I do like it. It's a really nice formula as well. Nice and um, hydrating, nice and comfortable on the lips. It's not as creamy as I thought it would look like the finish of it. I mean like it's creamy when you apply it and things like that. Um, feels comfortable and everything. It just I like a lipstick with a little bit more of a cream sheen off it. Um, kind of like the one that I had on a minute ago um, but like still it's a really nice shade I do like it I will wear it because like it's in the kind of colour family that I wear all the time so yeah like that and that's a full size of course and it's worth £15 so quite an expensive lip there that's everything inside this month's glossy box and I'm really liking the products that are in here I love that there's a bunch of makeup products and um, the lipstick looks great like I'm loving the shade on I'm loving the formula of it it's really nice and um, so liking that the Eyeliner from Seattle looks amazing. I love the idea of the little stamp on the end of it there. I like that we have a little mini mascara. As I said, I've tried this already and it's a nice mascara, so I'm happy to have another one. And the eye cream will be good to see how this goes. And then the highlighting palette, obviously, I already have, but it's a nice highlighting palette. You'll like it if you haven't tried it already. If you want to grab yourself this month's glossy box, I will leave my discount code down below in the description box for you. That'll get you 20% off your first box. And there's also a Mother's Day box available right now at Glossy Box. So I will link that down in the description box as well for you. But that's it for this video. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye.